Welcome to Doing Our Bit. I'm Adrian Smail and today I'm going to look at the question, should you buy a second-hand EV? This has been prompted by a lot of attention in the media about the fall in second-hand prices for EVs as opposed to equivalent ICE petrol diesel cars. And I want to look at this in more detail in a, with a bit more balanced reflection. The backdrop to this is firstly new prices have been coming down in response to both Tesla's price cuts and new cheaper Chinese cars now arriving across the world. And the number of decent vehicles becoming available second hand is inevitably increasing as new sales increase year on year. Whereas the availability for these is reportedly five times greater than demand. Interest in battery vehicles is nonetheless 47% up on this time last year. The report also states, however, that demand is very robust, but notes that the myths like batteries only last three years, etc., is a barrier to people making the switch, and more information for consumers is needed to counter this. Hence this video. Up until quite recently, second-hand prices for EVs sometimes were very close to the new prices due to shortages and waiting lists on new vehicles and very few second-hand models available. However, increased production and a maturing market is just returning things to normal. Depreciation is quite brutal, so a good reason to buy second-hand as I have done most of my driving life. The hype around hydrogen fuel vehicles may also be making people hesitant. However, this is just frankly false information and FUD largely promoted by the fossil fuel industry and some players in the auto industry that have been late to get on the EV transition. The two touted advantages, greater range and shorter refuelling times versus charging, are no longer the case with battery tech in current production or already released this year. So whereas hydrogen has a place in the green revolution, it is a non-starter for cars for four simple reasons. Efficiency and supply, no longer has any advantages, only disadvantages. Convenience and the infrastructure required to make this feasible. And you will find lots of links in the notes be below if you want to confirm the above yourself. Reasons to be positive about the EV market is the news that the Tesla Model Y is now the best-selling car period in Europe and EV sales continue to grow with the number expected to hit 14 million this year. So, does buying specifically a second-hand pre-owned EV make sense today? One clear advantage is the number of moving parts. Parts like a clutch, cam belt, and spark plugs, etc, etc. My experience of EVs is my switch from a Ford Fiesta diesel to a Renault Zoe, and you can see here the final four years of servicing costs for the former, using third party, not dealer costs, which would be even more, and the impact of those extra parts on servicing costs as the car ages. For larger vehicles, the cost gap would actually be even greater, and then there's the difference in fuel costs, and everything is better, and I have zero regrets about making this purchase myself. So using Autotrader, I will use my current car to illustrate why the new marketplace actually makes a second-hand EV such an attractive proposition. Starting with a three-year-old vehicle, you are buying the vehicle with two years of warranty remaining, plus a further five years on the battery. Looking forward to a five-year-old vehicle, you still have three years on of battery warranty remaining, just when petrol diesel servicing costs will be significant. Going out to an 8-year-old vehicle, obviously no warranties left, but assuming the car has been checked out and you have a printout of the battery state of charge, this could really represent cheap motoring for at least another 5 years, probably a lot more. Finally, I thought I'd compare buying a 3-year-old version of my Fiesta versus my current car. Frankly, the EV wins hands down. The tech, the specs, etc. are significantly better for the money. And the number of cars available is interesting when compared to the reports. Whereas nothing is always 100%, I hope I have illustrated just what good value EVs are secondhand right now. And if a 2020 model fits your use case, then it's a great time to make the switch to electric. Check out these videos if you need more information. Links in the notes. I hope you found this video helpful and if so, please like and subscribe. And as always, I really appreciate your feedback and comments. But in the meantime, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.